the Bible says it is better for us to put our trust in God instead of man. And it's like with man, man is like vanity. Putting your trust in man is vanity. Oftentimes when we get help from people, there are people sometimes they want to hold it over your head. They'll hold it over your head. They expect something from you in return. It's like people are a lot of times they want something out of it. They have intentions that are hidden. And oftentimes people are fickle. Their emotions are up and down. And sometimes the people who are in your corner one day, they could be against you the next day. A lot of times when people see things are going good in your life, they see you're doing well and you know everybody's for you. They're around you. They're supporting you. They want to help you. They want to be there in your corner. But the minute that things turn around and you know there's a storm and the, and, and the enemy has to have everybody pitted up against you, these people run away. They don't want to be there. And it's like, this is why the Bible tells us to put our trust in God, because see, God never fails us. God is someone who's going to stay the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not fickle. He has no hidden ulterior motives. He's not looking for to hold something over your head or to, to misuse you or to abuse you or to mistreat you. He is there in your corner at your most dire times when you truly need him, when you feel like you have no one. I'm here to let you know that Jesus Christ is always there no matter what it looks like. If you have your trust in God, he will never disappoint you. If you keep your trust and faith in him, you can get forward. You can move forward. And God will even call some of your enemies who are so incensed against you to help you. Remember in the Bible, when the Israelites were trying to flee Egypt, Egypt had them in bondage. Egypt wanted to keep them there. But God had them give the Israelites everything they needed so they can have a tra safe travel. So they do, they're they the ones who presented them with the things they need. Their own enemies who are trying to put them in captivity. God had their own enemies give the them the things that they needed. And a lot of times this is how God works. If you put your trust in him, he'll cause those who don't even like you, those who have an agenda against you to be the ones to turn around and help you. They don't even know why. They won't even know why they're helping you. It's just because you have that blessing. You have the favor of God on your life. Yes, people are good to have around when you need them, when you need someone to, to support you and pray for you and pray with you, but we're not supposed to be at the point where our trust is, 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 is on men only. We're supposed to first have our trust on God. We're supposed to keep our trust on him and God will return everything, everything that we need. He will cause everything to turn around. When you don't doubt God, when you keep your trust, I know how it looks sometimes you can be faced with storms, but I'm here to let you know, no matter the storms, no matter what you face, the Lord says he will bear in us his marking so that no man shall trouble us. And a lot of times when we face opposition, we face persecution, this is just a test. As you remember Job, Job had everyone against him. Job had lost everything. The devil came and afflicted Job and God allowed it. But Job stayed faithful to God and guess what? The Lord blessed him. He blessed him double. He blessed him double for his trouble. And so if you keep your trust in God, God will turn everything around in your life.